in the cubby, go to your liaison's desk, office, get your name badge, you get dispersed. You go through your first three stations prior to your MEPS brief. You do your eyes, your blood, your blood uh, pressure, and your hearing. Then you go to the MEPS briefing room, you wait, you, do, you get briefed, you fill out a couple of documents, and you move on. Oh, you also do the breathalyzer. In your MEPS brief or in, in hours, that's where they do the breath, breathalyzer to make sure you ain't in there drunk, okay? So you do that, then that's the last thing you do at the at the MEPS brief, and then you, you move on. Okay. Uh, moved on after I left the briefing. I think I, it, this order doesn't matter, because you can do these things in any order. But you do, you get your blood drawn, you do your urinalysis, you get your height and weight checked. You do your ortho exam with the duck walk and the arm circles and all that. And you do your um, your physical. The weird part. This is where I was uncomfortable. So when I so just know that you are butt ass naked, laying on this table with some strange ass doctor. You know, it's different when you have a rapport with your family doctor. This is a strange ass woman who tells me to lay on my side, takes two fingers like this, lift my ass cheeks up. I'm not kidding, guys. They go from here, she lifts it up with two fingers, peeks at my bow, <laughs> and then she pulls out her fingers and she drops behind your cheek. Like, sis, it's no wonder you have an attitude. You lift butt cheeks all day long. You know what I'm saying? Like, and everybody's hygiene practices are not the same. Okay? I would have an attitude as well if I had to lift up ass cheeks all day. They talk to the doctor. She checks out your scars, checks out your tattoos, makes sure everything is consistent, whatever. She signs off if everything is good. Um... And I think the final signature that you have to get on your documents is from the chief medical officer. That person signs off on your files. And once your files are good, you go back to the main uh, controller desk and they will take your file and then they'll tell you whether, it'll say on your form whether you're qualified or, or disqualified for whatever reason. On my form, it said that I was qualified, hallelujah. So I went back to my liaison's office and this is where things got a little tricky and this is why I didn't swear in. So during the conversation with my, with the CMO, when I was doing my medical exam, she was like, oh, have you ever had any speeding tickets, right? It's where I got tricky, where I got tripped up. The form that you fill out in the MEPS briefing asked about no, it asks about traffic violations, moving violations or some shit. So I say, yeah, like I've had a speeding ticket in my day. I'm 34 years old, guys. Like, yes, I've had a ticket. Rushing to work or trying to get to a meeting on time. You know, sure, I've had a ticket before. I get to my liaison. He makes a big fucking deal about this ticket. So apparently when they pulled my driving record, it said that it was careless driving. Let me break this down to you guys real quick. 
it was a late night it was like 1 30 2 o'clock in the morning i was coming from church okay i was not drinking no breathalyzer was was done i don't do drugs and i wasn't doing drugs um the reason why the fucking officer called it careless driving was because it just finished raining it had rained um, like maybe 10 minutes before I was pulled over so the ground was slick and he said because I was doing over 10 miles 10 miles above the speed limit that I was being careless on the road so that's why I got a careless driving citation as opposed to just speeding but anyway um, I got careless driving and that was on my driving record and so my my the army liaison was like well why didn't you disclose this why did you conceal this information i was like first of all i didn't conceal anything i understand legalese i went to law school for a stint concealing would imply that i was aware that i was hiding information that i was intentionally withholding information to conceal I was not concealing anything I said I forgot about the ticket which is 1000% true I forgot that, that ticket even existed so um, so I had to like fill out this form explaining why I concealed and like I said I politely corrected them and let them know that it was not a matter of concealing anything but the fact of the matter is I forgot that the damn thing even existed. Yeah.